YouTubers, like WC Star Motioner here. Welcome to Viewers New and Old. And today I'm going to be covering the Hasbro Transformers event today. Hopefully, my phone and my computer will cooperate with me and not say that they're out of storage space while I'm recording anyway. And yeah, I'm looking forward to talking about this because there's a lot of stuff here that I'm interested in. I didn't tune into the event, so of course, that means a lot of stuff is here that I like. That's just how it always works. And look, I, I really would have liked to have done a trailer analysis for Rise of the Beast. I really would have, but time just went on. I just wasn't able to, and I just felt I couldn't say anything that other people probably hadn't, that other people yeah, hadn't said, so I just decided not to do it. But I am going to talk about the toys, because that's the main bread and butter of the channel. So first off, we have Battle Trap, who we already have images of, but this is this is easily the one I'm looking forward to the most. Out of the Rise of the Beast figures, he looks so cool. I love the color scheme and the head sculpt. Almo just looks fun. Yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this one. I already have him pre-ordered. And I would do this on TFW 2005, just talk about what they showed, but that doesn't have the image of all the figures, so I went with Hasbro Pulse instead. All right, let's see. Next up, we have Bumblebee. The only Rise of the Beast figure I haven't pre-ordered yet. It just, he's not as high priority because I already have a gazillion Bumblebees, but I gotta be honest. This guy looks like they put a decent amount of effort into him. Like, he doesn't have a super huge backpack or anything. He actually looks pretty cool. I imagine this is a retool of one of the Bumblebee molds we've seen already. And I really like that Camaro mode. It has a couple added details. It's it's a little different. And I just love the 70s Camaro. I just think it's a really cool looking car. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this guy. One thing I'm not as big of a fan of is in other things we've seen, he has a yellow arm blade, which just looks a little cheap to me. But maybe that's how it's going to look in the movie. I don't know. Here we have Core Class RC. Already got this one pre-ordered too. I'm really looking forward to this because... She's one that I think looks really cool in the movie. I feel like it's a good mix of what G1 and modern fans of RC like. I don't know if they're just, just going to do a core class or if they're going to do a deluxe class version at some point. But this one looks really nice, for the most part. Yes, there are big wheels on the back, but at least they're not sticking out the side of her legs. Not too bad for a core class. Right, next up, we have Freezer, another one I have pre-ordered. We have images of his alt mode, but, or is it a, it might be a she, actually, is it? Let's see. Where is it? Okay, I forget if it's a he or a she. I think it's a he. I, think, I don't remember. We haven't even seen much of this character from the trailer. Looks pretty cool, very weird for a core class, and I, the alt mode doesn't look particularly good from what we've seen. But, eh. I'm buying all Rise of the Beast Studio Series stuff. Because I haven't been able to just be part of a hype train for a movie, because I started my channel after the Bumblebee movie came out. So, now here we have Air Razor. Now that we have more images of her, I am very positive that this is a retool of Remold of the Kingdom figure. It's not bad. I really like that figure. But it's just very clear now that it is. 
It's pretty nice. So it's still going to have all the crazy wing articulation. This look like the missiles attach in a different place. So this might actually be based more on the pterosaur version of the mold. Yeah, she looks pretty cool. I don't like the design as much as the classic design, but still looks pretty nice, and I'm looking forward to it. And I'm all for characters that didn't get as much screen time being seen in the movie. That's cool. Right, next up we have Cheetor. Now this design I'm kind of mixed on. I do have him pre-ordered already also, but... I don't really have too much problem with the design, because at first I was really mad he didn't have the legs on it on his back, but not necessarily all the designs had that. I'm not as mad about him not having a cheetah mode on his head, because I can think of this kind of like the trans metal design. But I wish he had some blue on his face. Just blue throughout the rest of his body. I feel like that would really make him pop. So I don't know. The colors are a little drab looking, in my opinion. I do think the spear thing is kind of cool. It's not Cheetor's signature weapon, but hey, oh, it, it, it's cool. Now it also splits into two little spear weapons. I do think the cheetah mode is pretty cool looking, though. See, I'm, I'm still not entirely sure how I'm going to feel about Rise of the Beast. I'm really looking forward to this movie, but... Just some things we've been finding out about it. It seems like they're kind of undoing some of the things the Bumblebee movie set out to do. I don't know. I hope... I want it to be good. This movie needs to be good. It's just there's some things I'm kind of iffy about. That we'll talk about when I get around to talking about the Wheeljack. Believe me, that video is not going to be pretty when that time comes. You're not going to like me talking about that. Now here we have Scourge. And... This looks pretty cool. I think robot mode looks looks pretty nice. Truck mode, though, this is just super sick looking. Even if he does have some kibble on the back. He just looks so cool. I, I just love, love the whole idea of him having all the insignias representing all the Cybertronians he's killed. It's just such a cool touch. It's disturbing, and I, I just love it. That is kind of weird looking, but yeah, I could get behind it. I think it's, I still think it's cool. We've actually seen him stab Bumblebee. Oh no, are they going to kill Bumblebee? I'm pretty sure they won't. Who are they going to flood the toy shells with if they kill off Bumblebee? I've only seen fan series that have the guts to kill off Bumblebee and leave him dead. That's the only time I've seen that. Aside from, there might have been something in the comics. I've, I don't, I haven't committed to reading the comics. He had the core class Grimlock, and yeah, Robot Mode looks pretty cool. T Rex Mode looks terrible. I'm not interested in these. Again, I think it's cool that they're making um, the Dinobots in the core class size where they can all combine. Even you know, that's not a traditional thing for the Dinobots, it, it's still neat, but it's just not something I'm interested in. As long as we get the rest of the Dinobots, though, I do whatever you want, Hasbro. I don't, I don't really care that much. Thundercracker, really gonna breeze over this one. I have zero interest in this figure. It's nice that he has his Null Rays, at least, or his his Thunder Blasters, whatever they were called. Yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in that figure in the slightest. Now, Nemesis Prime, I do think it's cool that he has the little axe, because that didn't come with the Core Class Optimus previously, so they did make some different changes to this. But it's just still, I don't know what I would do with this. It's a neat little thing, I'm sure it'd be a fun little desk plot, but not really anything I'm interested in. No thanks. Now, Skyquake, yes. I will definitely be getting this guy when I get the chance. I love how this thing looks. I've been really looking forward to talking about this. I just, I love what they're they're doing. They're making an, an improvement over what they did with year one of Legacy with the uh, other characters. Like, I feel he looks faithful enough to the design, but they made it where he fits in with the Generation shelf, the Generations collections. And I think it looks cool. I love how this thing looks. You know, I love Prime. Of course I do. It's... 
my favorite TV show ever made, but I don't mind them making some design changes because I still feel this is close enough to how he looked in the show. And he actually has a Gatling gun. I, I do wish it was a little bigger, but hey, it's better than one that came with the original figure. I'm just going to be honest. I think this looks way better than the original Voyager Skyquake figure. Jet mode especially, because the original Skyquake's jet mode sucked so much. This looks pretty nice. It doesn't look like it has all that terrible robot kibble on it. I I just really like how this looks. Definitely one I want to get, for sure. And I'm sure they'll do a Dreadwing repaint of it at some point. So I don't have them pre-ordered yet, but like I said, when I get the chance, I'm definitely going to. Because right now I have to prioritize all the Rise of the Beast stuff. Shrapnel. Obviously this is a yes. It's another Insecticon. He sold out already. Of course he did. But I have Kickback. I've had him for a while now. I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the Insecticons. Because this leaves Bombshell. And that should be pretty cool. Well, I mean, I'm not crazy about the Insecticons, but it's definitely a team I want to complete. And this one looks really nice. Pretty faithful to the design. I'm not sure if his transformation will be any more exciting than kickbacks, but still, should be nice. Definitely one I want to pre-order when I get the chance. Now we have Animated Prowl, and this also is a definite yes. Well, I don't feel like it's a massive improvement or, over the Animated Deluxe. I'll probably prefer the Animated Deluxe still. I think this carries on. This has what I was talking about with the Skyquake. Because this still is unmistakably animated prowl, but he fits in with the Generations aesthetic. And I'm all for them doing more animated stuff. You know I love animated. So I'll be getting this to show that, yes, they need to do more animated for sure. Give us Lugnut and Lockdown and definitely Slipstream. Wonder Motorcycle Mode looks great. And he actually has the wheels in his legs and everything. And the shurikens that come off. Still not too great, like the original animated figure, but they still attach the wheels and he can hold them in his robot hand, so hey, I'll take it. Head sculpt's pretty nice. It kind of looks like he has the samurai helmet on, sorta. Maybe this can work as a placeholder for the samurai pro until I get around to getting that figure. So yes, this, I'm definitely going to get this also. This looks really cool. He's one of my favorite characters in just all the Transformers, so yes, I want that. Crosscut, again, this is a definite yes. I know it sounds crazy because he's just a repaint of Burnout, but I like how this thing looks. I, I think the silver is really nice. I'm just absolutely in love with that head sculpt. It's so cool looking, very well painted. One thing I don't like is that it's a major downgrade in the paint department because Skids had, had no paint applications on the back of the vehicle mode. Then they fixed that with Burnout, and now we're back to no paint on the back. So that stinks, but otherwise it's it's a cool looking figure that I definitely want. We have Crash Bar, who, yeah, yeah, I definitely want this. He's a junkie on. I'm buying every Junkie on that they do. Motorcycle mode is really cool looking. I still don't have Scrap Hook, and I'll probably get Tarn from Wave 1. I actually saw my first Legacy Evolution figure today. I saw Needle Nose. It's not what I want, but it's still cool, I guess. Robot mode is really neat looking. I'm going to try to get all these pre-orders in soon. I'm just kind of recovering from some recent things that I bought. I got an old Wowie I'm trying to sell. Hopefully that'll help me fund this. Yeah, this is really cool looking. Definitely one I want. Now we have Metal Hawk. 
Well, it's a retool of a mold that I adore. No, I have like no interest in this at all. I'm not attached. I don't have any attachment to the character. I don't know. I just don't think it looks too good. I'm sure it's just as great as the Cyclone's old. It looks like there's some differences in the engineering a little bit. But yeah, just, just not one I'm feeling. It's cool. It's an obscure character. That's great. But no, I'm not. I'm not slightly, even slightly interested in this. All right now, we have a figure I'm a little frustrated by. This is Twin Cast, and people have talked about he should have a room for two cassettes, and yeah, he should. I'm not familiar with Twin Cast, but I, I know he can carry two cassettes. Now, I, I love the Kingdom Blaster mold, of course, but I wouldn't have been interested in this, but they included Rewind in there, so now I have to get this. Oh, well, he'll look cool with sound. And I do really like the deco. I think it's neat looking. Now, Rewind is still made of that translucent plastic. I don't know why they're doing that. I do like that they gave him uh, an expression. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll probably have to get this one. So overall, some pretty solid reveals today, really. it's There's a lot more here that I'm interested in than there was at the PulseCon. There were really only two, two figures released that I was interested in. And like I said, I, I like what I'm seeing here for the most part. The one thing I'm surprised about, though, there's no exclusives. I'm very shocked by that, because there are some figures that I could have totally seen being exclusive, like Twin Cast and Crosscut. I was positive those were going to be exclusives, and they're not. It looks like they're going to just be retail figures. That's awesome, for sure. It's just very interesting. What's Hasbro planning? I'm concerned. But yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Lots of stuff. Things I can't even pre-order yet. That's just how much I'm interested in. But of course, as always, that's just what I think. Please be sure to comment down below what you think. What you're most excited about or why you're disappointed. Why you might be disappointed with these. Or just if you're interested in all of them. Just be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. and.